Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because today I'm gonna to be showcasing a few items that I've purchased throughout the last um, two months or so. I did not purchase this within a week. I think that um, if you can do that, that's amazing, but I've kind of had to spread them out. But I decided today would be a good day to film this um, video. Um, the lighting where I usually film, which is in my living room slash dining area in my home, it's not the greatest today. Um, it's kind of that in between, like it's gonna get dark soon. But, so I wanted to film this in a place where there is a lot, a lot more light. And that's in my uh, other dining, uh, living room area, sorry, um, in, by my rooftop. Um, there's a skylight, there's um, two windows and just a lot, a lot of light here. So, um, and also the beautiful plants that I have in the background. Um, these are my babies and I love them. They blossom so well during the summer and I'm super, super happy. Um, I am also going to be talking a little bit about the Chanel price increase, my thoughts, my, uh, what, just my thoughts and, um, what I think moving forward, um, towards the end of the video. I didn't want to make the video super, super long. So I'm going to dive into, um, yeah. I'm gonna, so the video is primarily gonna be shoes and um, one accessory. So I'm gonna start off with this beautiful box. Um, I actually got this shipped to me, so from uh, Neiman Marcus. So I um, have been wanting a pair of boots like this um, for a very long time. I've been eyeing the Bottega Veneta. Uh, it's the like lug Chelsea boot, um, but I like the chunkiness of it. I just feel like for my frame, unfortunately, it just doesn't look good. Um, I think that it looks amazing on other people who are taller and are, you know, more proportioned to that um, boot. Um, for me, I'm 5'1", 5'2", and um, it just doesn't look good on me. Um, but yes, obviously it's Chanel because the video is about mostly all Chanel. And um, so yeah, this box is literally my size. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is um, the, I'm gonna just say the name. It's the, um, actually on the receipt, the um, receipt said the short uh, road trip boot. Um, so, um, and I got them the size 36 and a half, um, usually a 36 in Chanel, 36 or 36 and a half, depending on the shoe. Um, but I did get these in a size 36 and a half because they did not have a 36, unfortunately, in any of the stores, the sales associate said. Um, and I just, I found them by luck actually, because she said she had them in the back. As I told her, so I was trying on a pair of Chanel boots Sorry to rant, but I was trying to pair of Chanel boots, just like a riding boot. And for me, I just can't do Chanel riding boots. I don't know. I just have big calves. So it just kind of scrunches up on me. It just doesn't look good. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so um, she said, I have one pair that I can show you. We just got it in. Um, and uh, do you want to try it on? These are my favorite boots. And I was like, sure. Um, and um, I tried them on and... I tried them on as 37, sorry. I tried them on 37 and they were too, too big. And I said, let's do 36 or 36 and a half. And she said, "We, I think you should do 36 and a half because you want to wear thicker socks with them because they are a really a winter boot. So I I was like a little bit like, oh, are they going to look like clown shoes? Because I don't know, for me, I'm just very particular and um, I don't usually like when the shoes look too big on me. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> these are the boots um these are the chanel i get i think they're the road trip i have not worn them yet um and she ordered them in a size 36 and a half they arrived literally like a day or two later um and i tried them on with like thin boots a thin sock sorry and they unfortunately did not uh fit me they, they fit me big um but with actual thicker socks or double socks, then I can, then they fit perfectly. And I think that moving forward with boots, these type of boots, like I don't like them to fit like super tight. I like to have some room where my toes can breathe. Um, but yeah, these actually are from 2000, I don't know if it was 2019 or 2020, but they're not a new style. They're actually um, a older style, but I've always liked them and I just never really, 
either found them or um I don't know it was just like I just didn't I just never purchased them um I did purchase two last year that were very different from this um and um what I like about is the gold detailing here well it's kind of like a champagne so you could do either um you know silver I always mix my metal so it doesn't really matter but I love that these have a rubber sole these are good for just like where I live where there's going to be snow that we have heavy winters don't think that I'd be wearing these in the snow like that but like obviously if it's really cold and there's like a little bit of snow it should be okay but I'm not going to do like a winter storm obviously in these I have other winter shoes that I can wear um, for that type. Um, but I like the difference in that, um, I'll show you the other boot, is that, um, sorry, I hate when I see like little things, um, is that this boot actually has the Chanel engraved, uh, like this one had the CC and this one is, it says Chanel. And I think that's actually a really, really cool look um i am obsessed with this um i'm gonna wear these with everything essentially um and i love like this is like from the classic flap but it's kind of like that reddish burgundy color it's really cool uh this is of course made in italy and um i'm really excited um about these i'm gonna wear them with leggings with um skinny jeans and uh skirts dresses everything um like i said i have to wear a 30 uh, with the 36 and a half, I have to wear two socks or really thick socks. Um, so I think that they run like true to size, I would say. But I, with Chanel, uh, any designer shoe, I always recommend trying something um, like it or just actual shoe because it's uh, they're pretty uh, expensive shoes. So um, yeah, I'm really happy. The craftsmanship is really, really pretty. Um, and they're really like... Oh, one other thing is that when you actually put them on, there's room on their calf. So I think that it looks really nice. It gives that Chelsea, um, it gives that Chelsea lug boot chunky style, but not like too, too chunky. Like, again, like I said, I can't do a chunky, like super chunky uh, style. Um, the only one that I could probably do chunky maybe is like the Prada loafers, which I don't own, um, but I feel like they would look okay. Um, they would look good or, or, or um, better than like a chunky boot. So yeah, I'm excited about wearing these for the winter and the fall. Um, like I said, I haven't been wearing them because either the weather hasn't been so great where I live um, or um, yeah, I, I just haven't had a chance to wear them yet. So, but I'm super excited about them and um, the price was not too terrible. Um, we'll, we'll obviously get into pricing later, but uh, the pricing wasn't terrible. I've seen some combat boots. Um, the I actually have the combat boots with like the little pearl from last year that they're, they still have them in store. But like I've seen, I think it was like, yes, it's for this season, but there's a pair of nice combat boots for like 2100 for Chanel boots. And I'm just like, and these were reasonably reasonably priced. They were still expensive, but they were way, way less than that. Um, the next item is going to be, oh, actually, I'm sorry. I forgot to put like the dust bag and the care. I always keep everything. I didn't get a bag for this or anything like that. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, this is random, but I actually got this. This is like one of my favorite fragrances ever. Um, this is the Byredo, um, Mojave Ghost. This is literally like so, so good. Like I can, like, I will run through a bottle really quickly. That's, um, it's sad, but it, it cause it's so expensive, but it is so awesome. I'm so happy. I have a little bit of, um, I have a little bit of another bottle left, but I decided to stock up because I was at Saks and, um, this was like a few weeks ago with one of my other purchases. Um, and, um, yeah, I wanted to, uh, get another one because I was running low. So put that on the side and, uh let's see what else okay i guess on my other trip well i'll just change it up a little bit is this which i am super excited about because it's my first 
um, and you can probably tell by the box of it um, but yeah this actually um, I wasn't really going in for anything in particular to the store I just wanted to browse and um, I was looking at um, well I guess I was I was looking for like a mini flop which is impossible to get and um, she the sales associate was just like oh we have this and this and that and I actually was wearing the perfect outfit for this I remember I have pink Chanel um, slingbacks and I was wearing just like a very neutral outfit with it and this um, definitely just um, kind of was like perfect and I've always wanted one I've just never found the perfect like shades for it um, so I'm really excited um, yes and she's so nice she wrapped it up so pretty and yeah it's uh it's really nice actually I think I could wear it with this today um, but this is a scarf and it's a silk scarf and it is from 21B. So it's actually not from the new collection, um, but that's quite all right because um, what I loved about this is that the different colors. So I love the CCs obviously, um, but I feel like, I'm not wearing this right. Um, just the color. So my slingbacks are actually this color. It's like a kind of a salmon uh, color pink, pinky. Um, and um, I also have a blue um, bag. Um, and I have a brown from my the 21K um, Chanel boy bag in that brown caramel color. So I think that would go well. Um, and I also feel like this bluish um, looks like a gray, which I will uh, reveal what I got next. Um, but yeah, I just feel like the colors complement really well with my skin tone and also with my wardrobe. Um, I also have my Burberry trench that I just recently purchased um, and there is a video that I have on the review of it. Um, but I'm really excited about this because I feel like I can just wear a white blouse um, and then wear this um, and it just like kind of puts out the together. So I'm really, really pumped about it. Um, um, like I said, I think that the colors are beautiful. There's also some black. Um, it's just, I've always wanted a, I have two Hermes um, scarves and I've always wanted a Chanel one, but I've never really seen the colors um, that kind of spoke to me, I guess, um, or that just, you know, went with my wardrobe. So I'm really excited to have this and I'm going to, uh, put this on the side because I'm not gonna fold it like the way she, she folded it. Um, um, so yeah, sorry, my hair is like all over the place here. Um, so the next item that I got um, was um, a pair of shoes. You can tell, oh my God, okay. <laughs> what is going on with me today? I'm just like a mess. And so I got a pair of shoes. I'm super, super excited to showcase them because they're pretty rare actually. I feel like not a lot of people have them. Um, well, at least this particular color, the style, yes, it's everywhere. Um, but I'm really fortunate to have received them. I actually purchased these from Neiman Marcus. Um, and um, yeah, so actually I have the same pair of shoes in another video that I showcased. Um, and I got them in a size 36B, which is like the wide version of the shoe, uh, or I guess of sizing, sorry. Um, and that fits me perfectly and I've worn those shoes so much. Um, well, not so much, I'm not gonna lie. I've worn them a handful of times and the first day was like total blister, like awful, like I was like, I, I can't believe that I paid so much for these shoes, but I honestly just had to break them in and then they were perfect after. Um, so they are super comfortable, even in that size 36B, which um, again, I'm usually a 36, 36 and a half in shoes. Um, and then when I saw these, um, I was like, I have to get them. Um, so they come with the dust bag, um, the shipment, um, Yeah, the lighting, you can't see it, but these are just uh, so amazing. These are the Chanel Classic Quilted Loafers in the gray, and I believe this is from 
um, 20 B. So they're not new, um, but I guess I'm not sure the way that Chanel releases things. Like I've seen them in khaki. I've seen them in the salmon color that I, for my scarf, I've seen them in white, but like, I feel like they just came out, but I guess they were from that particular collection. But yeah, these are, let's see, if I can showcase them. These are so, so beautiful. Like I, um, they're also lambskin. Um, they are in silver and I am obsessed with this color. The gray is perfect. It's a perfect neutral. Um, I feel like I can wear this, um, in the fall now, I can definitely wear them in the spring, summer. Um, I just feel like they're a very versatile shoe. Um, these are in a size 36 and a half. And yes, so you're going to ask like, okay, so you got 36B in because they were wider um, for the Chanel, the, the black ones I have. Um, but I got, I tried on a 36 and truthfully, like I felt like they were so narrow and I have narrow feet. Um, they were just so, so narrow. And I'm like, I would be like too painful to be walking in these. And I'm not gonna spend that amount of money. Again, the pricing for shoes have increased, will increase. And I just can't justify like me spending so much money and not being able to wear them. So I got them in a size 36 and a half. They're a little, little, little big, but it's okay. Um, it's all right. Like I can I can live with that. They're, they're comfortable. Like, like my toes can actually be like, like spread, they feel comfortable, like, you know, but these are amazing. And the reason why I actually got them, I was really looking at the um, olive green color because I'm obsessed with olive green. Um, they do have them. And I also like the white one, but I feel like it's not the right timing for white, but if you want to forecast for the spring, summer, that's good. Um, but because I also, in my other video, showcase this, which is my Chanel mini rectangular in the um, gray color, and this is from the 21B. Um, I actually have not worn this out yet because the weather, every time I go out, like usually when I'm, I think I've mentioned this in another video, when I work, like my career, I, I don't wear these type of items. I only wear them when I'm off. And for the last few days, um, when I'm off for the last few times, in the month since I've received them, it's either really like raining and I don't want to wear these when it's raining. And I also wanted, once I got this, I knew I wanted to get this and I'm just like, how perfect are they? They're, they're literally the same color. Um, and they're just so, so stunning. I'm obsessed with them. They're really beautiful. They are a great investment in my opinion. Loafers are in general are just a classic piece and this bag, this little baby, I love it so much. I'm just sad that I haven't been wearing it because again, I am either wearing another bag or just like the weather is not, like it's raining or it's drizzling and I just don't want to ruin this. I want it to be like a sunny day where it's like, no, you know, today would have been perfect, but I actually did not leave my house today. So, um, but yeah, I got it. Um, I got that. I'm super excited about these. I'll put these all away when I'm done. Um, and yeah. Oh my God. I want to admire these a little bit more because they're just like, how amazing are these? The color. I mean, again, I have them in black. I have uh, now I have them in the dub, this like dub gray color. I recommend them 100% if you're on the fence. Um, if you ask me between the Prada ones and these, I feel like these to me are more um, I just practical for me, again, because of the chunkiness. I can't do too much chunky. Like I like chunky, but not too much. And it's uh, so it's perfect. So if you are um, you know, interested in purchasing it um, and you are have the opportunity to, definitely go uh, give it a go. Um, yeah, and then that pretty much concludes uh, my uh, collective haul or reveal. Um, but now I want to talk a little bit about the price increase that is going to be, um, like I said, taken into effect November 3rd, 2021 in the United States where I live. And um, according to Purse Bop, which is the um, where I kind of get my, res my uh, the resources from and also like essays, um, so Bur uh, Purse Bop um, put out like a little um, grid, which said, you know, 
classic minis are going to go from like 4400 which there are now uh to 5000 um the classic flap is going to go from 71 to like 8200 uh the medium i have no idea the large i have no idea because i don't even look at those so um the it's just it just sucks to be honest um it sucks that these are going to be the new pricing and that there is no chance in hell that the prices are ever going to go down so it's only going up from now so um it's sad um at the end of the day i understand because chanel is a business and they can choose obviously what they want to do with their items and their brand um it just hurts for consumers i guess like me i'm not a vip i'm not like i'm just i guess you know a lover of the brand um i purchased my first chanel bag um at tw i believe i was like 20 when i was able to save up from my you know first real job in the corporate world and i you know was so proud of that moment and at that time i think it was like four thousand and i got it at bergdorf goodman's and i remember that day when i got the call and i was just like i can't believe that i'm spending all this money on that and that was like four thousand back then and now fast forward like 13 years later where a classic small is 82 will be 8200 it it sucks because it's like what about those people that save that actually put all their money into saving uh this dream bag that you know that they want to get um it's like now you're gonna have to start with an slg and the slgs are also increasing um i don't know the exact um percentage but they're also increasing and um like you're gonna have to i guess start off even the walk is going up the wallet on chain like it's like going to be like three thousand something i don't know um so don't quote me on that but like that's like your entryway into Chanel now. Um, and it's sad, it's really sad. Uh, it, it's unfortunate, it's uh, the pricing is, I, I mentioned this in another video of mine where I uh, was really, actually when I got the this gray uh, bag, I was trying on this, the medium size and it was like 7,500 at the store at the time. This was in August and I told the sales associate, I'm sorry, but I just can't justify the pricing for this bag. It's just way too much. And like, I'm sure someone purchased it right after me. And that's the thing with the Chanel is that, you know, you, you know, you may think that it's very expensive and most people will think that it's very expensive, but someone else will still purchase it. And that's what's happening with um, and I got confirmation from my sales associate uh, last month about the new policy in which you can only purchase one bag per month. Um, so it's one bag per month and um, they are going to limit that. My sales associate said you can have someone else purchase the bag for you if they have a history or um, so for example, I was with my fiance and she said, you know, you can, he, it can be under his name. Um, but you basically will have one bag per month, which I think is, it's fine. I, I don't think that most people are going to be getting one more than one bag or a bag each month. I mean, if you can get a bag each month, that's fantastic and like more props and kudos to you girl or guy. Um, but yeah, so um, when my sales associate said that, she also said there are going to be exceptions. So what does that mean? What is, so what, so my thing is like, why do these VIPs, you know, why do they, you know, they obviously get the chance to get multiple bags. So if you have the means, then yes, this, this policy is not applicable to you. Um, it is applicable to the average, you know, person or the average, you know, consumer or a lover of Chanel that goes into the store and has history, but is not as lengthy as a VIP. Um, so on Friday, um, I don't even remember the day on Friday. What was it? 24th, 25th. I can't remember, but I uh, texted one of my sales associates from Saks and I asked her, I said, 
Um, do you have any, um, do you know what the colors are? Like, I feel like they're also being very secretive about 22C collection. I feel like they're not sending pictures, which is understandable that is company policy, but they're not really stating that. They're like, like waiting right until launch day. Um, they gave you, they give you an idea. They give you what colors, but they don't give you an exact, um, I don't know, I guess at least for me. Um, so she called me, which I was so surprised because I usually text with my sales associates. I don't really give them a ring. Um, but she called me, she said, um, just, I want to let you know, there's going to be a price increase. I can't tell you the exact pricing, but do you want anything in the store? And I said, uh, yeah. So I gave her like a list of things that I actually would get but she didn't have them. So she, I'm like, you know, <laughs> the inventory is just like, there's no inventory. So hence why there's also a increase as well. So supply and demand chain, right? Also uh, resellers and personal shoppers. Like I understand that personal shopping is a business and I think it's awesome. However, the price increase, like I understand I guess I understand you do have to charge a premium for it, but sometimes I'm seeing these premiums as two, two to three thousand dollars, and for me, I think that is that is crazy. And to know that Chanel knows, and I'm sure they have uh, like data researchers, marketing, like they know. Like if you go on Fashion File, the mini flap with the top handle in the summer, which I was looking for that bag, could never find it um, in white. And that was going for 65, 7,000. And people were purchasing that bag um, at that price. So Chanel's not dumb. Like they're gonna say, okay, so if people can pay a premium, then yeah, this third increase, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be that bad. People will still buy it. And um, I also think that they are catering to a very certain demographic. They don't want their bags to be very like, they want to sell their bags. Like they're not in the business. I mean, any business will, you know, you want to actually make a profit. So I don't think that they're, you know, but they do want to cater to a certain demographic or they want people to branch out and buy different items. So for example, they want people to buy more, um, I guess, you know, ready to wear or fine jewelry. Um, I don't, I'm not a fine jewelry type of person for Chanel. I don't think that is worth the price, but ready to wear. Actually, my sales associate was actually telling me, um, do you, would you like this sweater? And I'm just like, like, I don't own a ready to wear piece from Chanel. I would love to, maybe in the future, I would love to buy a coat or a jacket, um, a blazer, but I'm just not in a, I'm just not interested in buying ready to wear. So to me, it's like they want people to, to get up to that and actually buy different things, which is understandable. Um, however, I just think that the price increases are just us, like just insane. Like it's really like from the course of the year, I think it's been like probably a 30% increase, which is insane. Um, and um yeah and also so the chanel classics so your gabrielle your coco handle chanel classic flaps those are all going to be increased um and um the slgs as well shoes are also going to be increased i'm not sure how much um they did not mention anything about the chanel 19 and the chanel boy and I do have a feeling that those will be increased as well, November 3rd. Um, so it's, it's just really sad, but it's, um, it's the reality. It's the reality of, you know, what's to head. Um, and you know, what's ahead. And for me personally, like I love Chanel. I am like, I love everything about Chanel, like the brand, um, I don't love the pricing, obviously, but I do love the brand. And yes, I will still purchase from Chanel. However, I'm going to be a little bit more mindful when it comes to my purchases. Although I'm still mindful of my purchases now, I'm just going to be a little bit, I guess, I don't think that I could really 
ever justify the pricing of a small classic flap, which again, I think I've always mentioned in my videos that I am more of a mini small uh, type of girl and I cannot see myself buying a small classic flap when I feel like I can save a little bit more and get, hopefully, it is my dream to obviously get an Hermes bag, a Birkin or a Kelly or both. Um, if I'm ever given that opportunity. So I feel like more people that are, you know, in that, I guess, category that they're going to be, you know, probably saving a little bit more, a little bit longer to be able to get a bag that is, you know, a different caliber type of bag or, you know, more of a, you know, whatever. Um, or for me personally, I love watches. So um, to I could save a little bit more and get a stunning Rolex or I could get, you know, so many different types of watches, like luxury watches that I am really into as well. So I just feel like for me moving forward, um, yes, I will buy Chanel shoes. I absolutely love Chanel shoes. Um, I will continue likely to buy minis because I love the minis and the seasonal bags. So the seasonal like minis I feel like sometimes are a little bit less um so I will be buying those um and I did have a wish list item which is the Chanel 19 I do have a, a ivory color that I per that uh, my fiance got for me in for Christmas of 2019 so um yeah uh, Christmas of 2020 I'm sorry, I can't remember. Uh, 2020, I think. 2020, yeah. So I, again, I was always on the fence about the Chanel 19, but ever since I received that bag, I am obsessed. I love it. I wear it a lot and it fits so much. And I feel like Chanel ca caught on so that people that actually love that bag. And um, now it's, it is gonna be, it's a classic now and um, it is pulled into those increases, which um, which sucks. So I did have the Chanel 19 um, in black, um, and I have been searching for it for the last week or so, and unfortunately nobody has it, or they're kind of, you know, it's in the back somewhere, but come November 3rd, we have it for you. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know, like what do you do then? So, um, yeah, I had a few pieces in my, you know, mine, but I, I don't know. So I guess we'll play it by ear. We'll see, you know, this week how things unfold. And, um, yeah, I, I do believe that Chanel 19 will go up. I, I think at least 10 to 12%. I don't want to throw it out in the universe because I know I got it when it was 5,100 and I was just like so happy. I thought that was so expensive and it, it is expensive. But to know that it could go up, it's already gone up, it's 5,700, and now it's it's likely to go up. I don't know. I just can't keep up. It's just too much. Um, but yeah, um, I will be coming out with a video soon um, on another not Chanel unboxing, likely, um, but another fun video. And um, I hope that you will uh, consider subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, and also hitting the notification bell just because sometimes um, YouTube won't notify you if videos come up and because I don't post every day or like, you know, it may not show up on your, your feed. So um, please do consider subscribing, liking, commenting again. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Thank you so, so much for watching and for taking the time to watch this video, which was way too long I think but I just had to say my piece about like Chanel and I, I'm a lover of the brand I've been for so many years it's been you know everything and every piece that I get I cherish it I keep them in the box and it is so everything that I have has a story and um you know it's sad that the next you know 10 years or something like what are the small classic flaps are gonna go for I mean, the jumbos, I think, are going up to 13000 I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, bye.